Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to part two of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 4. In the last episode, we just started out here in Liberty City, making our way. This episode, we're going to actually, uh, we're going to do something before we go see Roman. If you notice on the mini map, there is a little person, little person icon. Sorry, guy. Didn't mean to hit you. Um, if I can get up to where I want to go, and we're going to go do that. There are these various uh, random encounters in this game. Which, well, not exactly random encounters. They're scripted in the sense they're always in the game. But they are random in the sense they are not necessary for the plot. So let's go talk to this guy right here. He's actually one of the recurring random characters. So let's see, uh, see what's up with him. How you doing? I'm doing just fine, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> good. Yes, comrade, I am doing good. There is no I. There is only we. <laughs> All right. Shoutouts to Joseph Stalin, apparently. Young and I'm getting it. Was that was that right? Well, thank you. Cause Lord knows Roman didn't pay us for our last mission. All right, so uh, we'll see that guy hit my car, really, bro. Yeah, we'll see that guy later on. Actually, maybe he did pay us. We only had $25 when we got here. So I think he did pay us. But let's go say hi to Roman again. And... What are you doing here? You're like in this... Anyway. Alright. This is Three's a Crowd. I think you do have problem. <laughs> and Nico saves the day. Ooh, kill him. He will kill you. <laughs> I love how he throws a knife instead of, you know, keeping it for protection. Real smart, Roman. I just bought that 1999 computer. That's because everyone knows not to go into debt with loan sharks. This phone actually does look kind of legit, though. 2008. Look at that 12 button keypad. <laughs> I remember when I had one of those phones. Yeah, because that's all we're concerned about. Forget the fact that I'm poor. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, just like Roman said, we have to go pick up. Mallory and friend. So let's do that. Head off to the subway station. You'll notice on the mini map, new to Grand Theft Auto with this game, there is a. Maybe it was in San Andreas. I don't know. I can't remember. But <laughs> there's there's a uh, GPS system. So every car has GPS. It's kind of cool. Some cars actually, um, given this 2008, not every car has you know one that speaks to you. But some of the more fancier cars, the more expensive cars have talking GPS. So you can actually change the voices in the, um, in the, whatchamacallit, in the menu. So, sound the horn. Get over here, ladies. So yeah, the GPS. You can take those routes. They're the fastest street legal routes, as I believe it said in the first episode. But, uh, you know, we're just, we're just gonna kind of drive. I'm pretty well acquainted with the city, so if I can get places, if I can get through with a shortcut, then I'll, uh, I'll do that. Well, I like it just fine. You just got the hookup. Oh, snap. I wasn't looking at the road. Sorry. Sorry, guy. Really? No, I'm not feeling this. I'm not feeling this. I was close. <laughs> 
Yeah, don't don't uh, don't look at your phone and drive, kids. It's a really bad bad decision, even in GTA. And here we are. Thanks for the lift, Nico. Yeah. Thanks. Give me a call sometime. See you soon, Michelle. And there we go. Actually, that's not the end of the mission. We have one more thing we have to do. Let's turn around. You'll notice there's a clothing icon on the mini map. Well, so you've been wearing them for like what three days now? All right, so let's go. Excuse me. Let's go. Uh, get some brand new, brand new threads. Do people say that anymore? That's like such a '90s thing to say. Um, anyway, here we go. Speed into this checkpoint. Oh crap! Don't speed. <laughs> I missed the checkpoint. I thought there was gonna be one on the street. Failure. Let's turn back around. And that's something else. Um, it was in GTA. I believe it was in GTA. It may have been GTA 3. I know clothing was in GTA Vice City to a limited extent, and definitely in GTA San Andreas. But here we go. You can buy clothes from various shops throughout Liberty City, which uh, it, it really adds. It actually, it's kind of interesting because some of, well, I, I can think of one mission that actually requires you to buy clothing. Um, and then a couple other missions include clothing. But other than that, you can kind of, you know, just do what you want to do. But let's just buy some glasses. I'm a fan of, I think these are them. The second option should be, should be, yes. Good old aviators. That's all you need. Yeah, he, he says to get some new clothes, but we are not the most wealthy of individuals. So I'm not going to waste my money on that. And let's see. I think we can go back to Roma at this point. But uh, yeah, right now we are in what's known as Hove Beach, and Liberty City, much like the actual New York City, has boroughs. There's only four in this area, um, as opposed to the five, but there are, let's see if I can name them all. There is Dukes, which is based off of Queens, Algonquin, which is based off of Manhattan, Broker, which is based off of either Brooklyn or the Bronx, and then there is... Oh, there's one more. There's one more. Yeah, I'll come up with it eventually. It'll hit me. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to do this. Hurry up, hurry up. Where am I supposed to go? What, what did he say? I, I wasn't paying attention. I'll show this off then since I wasn't paying attention. You have the brief. Um, let's see. This will tell you what just went on. So different things, if you forget what just happened, like I just did, um, you can go back and check out what you know people just said. It's kind of interesting. Uh, can, can we call Roman? I honestly don't even remember what just happened. So what happens when you do a less play. You just you pay attention to one thing, and 5,000 other things happen. And... Do, do, do. Might just cut this out. I, I want to say I think you have to go back to Roman, because he doesn't really know anybody else. Let's call, uh... Let's call Michelle. Maybe she'll pick up. There we go. Let's get out the car, though, before that explodes. How you doing? I was wondering if you uh, wanted to go out with me sometime. You know, on a date. Yeah. yeah, sure. You were only my cab driver. Yeah, I'd like to get to know you, Nico. I want to get to know you. Well, that was easy. And let's go on our date. So that is something else that is back from San Andreas. The dating mechanic. Um, in San Andreas, you could have various girlfriends, and they would give you different bonuses. Um, I believe some could like restore your health or whatever. Oh, I like this song, uh, "Top Down" by Swizz Beats in the background. But uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so the girlfriends—they have these in this game. Actually, it's kind of cool because you know the internet was around pretty big. I guess in 2008. Later in the game, we'll get to internet cafes, and you can actually meet girls online. And they give you different bonuses. So, like, some will help you um, heal yourself if you're in like a gunfight. You can call them; and they'll give you first aid advice. Or others will lower your war uh, warranty. Lower, <laughs> yeah, lower my warranty. Make it worth less than it was before. Lower my uh, my stars was called my wanted level. Oh 
crap, I skipped. <laughs> I'm so used to playing this by myself, I just skipped the combo. I guess we're not, uh, not, we're, we're not gonna go help Michelle. We are going to, oh, you know what? Actually, yeah, let's go do this. Here's the thing. Nico, uh, Roman just called Nico, letting him know that, screw you, I'm not, I'm not gonna fight with you. I hit your car because I felt like it. Um, Nico just called, Roman just called Nico because he was getting, uh, attacked by, what, Darden and Blander. And that's a problem. It actually turns out, if you don't save him, I don't know if it's this one, it might be the next time this happens. But if you don't go and uh, rescue him at this point, he actually ends up in the hospital. Which is kind of cool, I like the continuity. Yeah, so, here we go. Now we're close enough, they'll give us the waypoint. But, uh, it's kind of cool, you have the continuity here. Where you can, if you don't rescue, you know, Roman, and later on we have more friends. Um, yes, we get friends in this game. Um, if you don't rescue them, or if they die while they're on a mission with you or something, they'll actually call you up and be like, yo, pick me up from the, uh, pick me up from the, uh, hospital, because, you know, I died, got wasted, but let's go save our best cousin, Roman, right after this cutscene. I don't know if this mission had a title. I try to read out the titles, because, uh, you can't exactly see them that well. I'm not sure if they'll come through on YouTube or not, but, uh, Nico is a no, no games kind of guy. So this is your tutorial for uh for combat. Hold L2 to lock onto your target. Square is punch. I believe X is dodge. I'm sorry, square is not punch. Circle is punch. Square is kick. If I cannot die here, God, come on now. Yeah, the combat is trash. <laughs> it's it's not like hard or anything, but it's just, it's not nearly as uh, nice. Oh, that was easy. Not nearly as nice as uh, GTA 5. I'm probably going to say that a lot. For as much as I love this game, GTA 5 really had the uh, had it had on lock. Yeah, hold X to block. It's funny. Sometimes I like to just put in cheat codes here. And, uh, you know, just come in, just guns blazing, and take them out like that. So, I, I actually thought about doing that. Doing, like, just a cheat code run where I have guns super early. Because you don't get guns... Um, well, you get them relatively soon. You get them on the first island. If you're wondering, there are three islands in the game. Um, oh, so that wasn't Blader and Darden. That, that, that's Darden. Um, gonna move on, Roman. But, uh, yeah, you get weapons relatively early. But, did he, yeah. I thought he was gonna get stuck on the fence. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Uh, but yeah, sometimes I like to do cheat code, put in cheat codes, just so I can, you know, mess around early in the game. Get out the way! So let's chase Darden. This is a new mechanic to Grand Theft Auto. You can hold the circle button to focus in on your target. That way, you know, when he goes around corners, you still have an idea of where he's going. Um, which is generally helpful. I tend not to use it, because I don't particularly... Well, at this point, I know where they're going and whatever, so... Um, but yeah, it's, it's useful, I guess. It's also in GTA V. A little bit more useful there because you can just press the circle button once and it stays locked on. Uh, but, uh, yeah. That is a good idea. Let's just try to survive. No! Yeah, so the, the general criticism here is that the cars handle like boats, which I think is very accurate. Oh, look, this is right by the ship we just came in on. I love how things come full circle. But, uh,. Yeah. What was I saying? <laughs> At this point, I got distracted by building 269. I was like, you know, if I'm a real YouTuber, I'd make a joke about that. But then I was like, I'm not going to make a joke about that. And now, inadvertently, I'm making a joke about that because, well, I got distracted by the fact that everyone else would make a joke about it. Um, yeah, I honestly have no idea what I was saying. Anyway, let's chase, let's chase Darden. Something about GTA 5. And there we go. Something that's kind of cool. You know, like, this is a tutorial when they put the, uh, the garbage truck, like, right in your right in your uh, path like that. Wait, is this the way? This is, I don't think this is the way I'm supposed to go. Is this the, No, it's not. Screw you, Darden. If I fail this mission right now, I am going to rage quit so hard. Did I really? This is, like, the third mission of the game. How is that possible? Yeah, we go right, here we go, right up the street. He parked his car. Because 
when you're running away from someone, well, what I don't understand, why did he run away from us? We beat up his goons, and he ran away from us. He had a knife, and he ran away from us. Like, what was the point? Um, all right, let's see if I can do what I wanted to do here. Yeah! <laughs> it didn't work as well as I thought I was going to. God dang! Oh, my goodness! Okay. Tap, 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 tap. Let's disarm this fool. Wait, what? Tap. Wait, this isn't working. Am I going to die here? Am I going to die here? I died! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? That's pathetic. I told you the combat sucked. Now I'm going to blame that on myself. That was my own fault. Yeah, so you can replay missions. Yeah, we're going to replay that right now. Um, I should actually call it a video. That was pathetic. Wow. Between Kingdom Hearts and this, this is not... This isn't a good start. All right, let's go rescue Roman again. Oh, luckily they start right by the uh, thing. Yeah, it'll be just like okay. Um, yeah, so don't lose a lot of get out the way. Don't want to get hit. Don't don't lose a lot of health in this fight. That's what I'm saying. I was trying to tap triangle to dodge, and uh, and then press circle or triangle. Press tap X to dodge. And press circle or triangle. Skip cutscene. You can skip cutscenes with X. And God dang, why is this so difficult? Come on now. I mean, like, all I normally do is just mash triangle. Because after this point in the game, once you get your first weapon, even like, even once you get like a knife, I guarantee you, you're never going to fight people. Even like, if you're just on the street, I never just do fist fights with people. Like, there's no reason to, because you could just, you know shoot them the the fighting mechanics whereas gta 5 it's kind of fun to just like you know go beat up people or whatever because the fighting mechanics are kind of you know well put together this one is not a uh, not exactly what i'm looking for are you are you done yeah all right skip this cutscene, and let's get a better showing this time let's go beat up darden i was so dead set on doing what i wanted to do when i got to that room that I, uh, that I failed pretty hard. Yeah, I'm trying to make these episodes around 15 minutes long. Of course, that's difficult when you have, you know, mission-based gameplay. Where you can't exactly stop in the middle of mission. I mean, I could just tell you guys in the next episode. Yeah, I killed Darden. But, uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna, not gonna do that. So, this one probably will go about 20 minutes long. Um, but yeah. I'm in a, I'm in a pretty good recording fit right now. Because I'm just trying, I'm trying to get as much stuff as I can. Um by next next Monday so oh something else I actually mentioned because we are replaying a mission you may have noticed the dialogue there is a little bit different than it is the first time you do the mission so you know if you fail a mission I think it's almost like a courtesy from uh, <laughs> am I gonna forget what I'm gonna say now um, it's kind of like a courtesy to the player that you just had to sit through a mission like in GTA 3 or GTA Vice City or San Andreas for that matter when you died and you had to redo the whole mission you had to listen to the same audio the same like over and over again and you know it's not terrible obviously there's nothing really wrong with that but it is kind of just monotonous like I just heard you say this five times so there are like two or sometimes I think three dialogue options for characters um as you, you know, if you fail a mission. So they're basically, they'll say the same exact thing, they'll just say it in a different way. Which I think is kind of cool, because you don't, it's not like you're missing out on anything in the, you know, by only listening to, like, doing the mission once. But it's, it's kind of just neat that you can hear different dialogue options. It'd be kind of cool if they had, like, a weapon down here. And jump up the stairs. Whenever I see Nico jump, it reminds me of the Super Mario 64 long jump. Like, yahoo! <laughs> the way he jumps forward. Alright, so tap X to dodge. Wait, this is not working. This, see, look, look, I am tapping the. Oh, there we go. There we go. Disarm that fool. Slash him up. Beat it up like a rampage. God, I got him to the head. So, yeah, I didn't do what I wanted to do. No! My God! 
Oh my god, courtesy platform. Courtesy platform. Alright, I'm gonna have to jump into the water. I have to jump into the water now. This playthrough is going so well. So yeah, what I was trying to do was you can um <laughs> you can break through that window. Wow, this episode's gonna be long. You can break through that window. Maybe I'll just have to cut out that first part. But <laughs> sorry. You can break through that window and you can actually knock Darden out of it, which is kind of hilarious. And uh so, you know, I try to do that every time. Watch out. We'll notice later in the game. These uh, red kegs right here. If you shoot them, they will blow up. And they do a lot of damage. Normally, they will kill you if you're in close proximity. Can I get over this? Oh, my God. Am I stuck here? Really? Yo, this LP is off to a fabulous start. He's literally just... Like that. But, yeah. You can knock out the window and kill him. Like, kind of get a cinematic ending. So, I do like that, you know, that uh, style of... What you call it. Oh, let's go up this pier. This is painful. Oh my god, if you guys are watching this, I appreciate it. <laughs> because this is painful. I promise you, I don't fail this hard at this game. But I was I was so dead set on trying to knock him out that window. I wanted to see if I could actually break the window still. Um, but yeah, you can do that. And you know, maybe I should just like put in a part that's like, you know, skip here if you want to see me actually beat this mission. Well... At least you guys can say, how many times have you seen someone fall out the window in GTA 4 like that? You know? How many times can you say that? <laughs> Sprunk. Nice little playoff of Sprite. Sprite. Not Sprite. Sprite. Is that the car? No, that's not our car. This is our car. Thanks for waiting, Roman. Who are you directing with your clipboard guy? Did that door just open for us? Did he say pain? That reminds me of Final Fantasy XIII. I want to play that game now. Final Fantasy XIII, status helmet called Pain. I forget what it does. It does something. I think you can't attack. Can't. Yeah, can't attack. That's for sure. I love Final Fantasy XIII. This song. What is this song? I have to find out. They use this song. Was it in the intro? I think it, this was not the intro intro, not the, like the cutscene intro song, but uh, this was something. I think it was in the intro, not the uh, cinematic intro, but like right after that. Anyway, um, that is going to be an episode. Thank you for sticking it out with me. In the next episode, we will finally take Michelle on that date. And we will do some other stuff with Roman, because Roman's a pretty cool guy. This has been part two of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 4. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.